السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اے مائزر پرسن از نٹ ریسپیکٹ فل بفور اللہ اینڈ پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سو ہی از آلسو بینگ انسلٹیڈ ان دس ورلڈ بیکاز آف ہز گریڈ اینڈ ہز habit of taunting others and abusing others finding faults of others backbiting slandering so many things the person can do even when a person who is generous when he is spending money just for allah this person says about him that he is pretending he is showing off but the intention is hidden thing the purity of intention is known by allah only how this person can understand the internal situation of the person in order to know the intention and then blame the person that this person is show off pretending but this is one of the fault and so many faults are found in the miser person stingy person sometimes you know these people when they have something even that is not in their use but the other people who need it when they request they are not to give that one so this is the sign of miserness because this is these are the people who are stingy miser even if a person you know the you can see some people they have food they have extra food they will keep that one in their fridge but they are not to give that one to the hungry neighbor neighbor is hungry they know that one but they are not to give the food to the neighbor they are just to put that one in the fridge the extra food is there but neighbor is hungry at the day of judgment allah will ask i was hungry you have not given me the food and the people will say that allah you are free from hunger how is possible Allah will say about that person look this was your neighbor he was hungry and you have not given the food you have put in the fridge even you were having extra food so this is the other sign of a miser person stingy person who is putting extra food in his fridge not to give that one to the neighbor who is hungry similarly you can see some people who try to keep the money and count them again and again so these people they are not to pay zakat not to give away charity even not to spend a penny if they are ill on their treatment not to buy medicine for them and they are the people think that someone will come to buy for me but the people who are people of taqwa those are nice people they don't want to keep the worldly things with them 
they try to use their money for requirements and they request Allah every time, O oh Allah, give us so much which will fulfill our requirement. Alhamdulillah, that is enough. We are happy, we are thankful. So these are the people like liked by Allah and these are the people favorite by Allah because Allah said, Inna akramakum in the lahi atakakum. So these people who are people of taqwa, those are the favorite people of Allah. But you can see some people who are miser, we have to look which type of thing make them too much miser. That is their love and desire to keep on collecting worldly things, wealth, money and other things for which they are greedy. They are to keep it, collect it so much, even if that is too much, they never be happy, they are still hungry of that. So these people should understand that uh, my life is finishing at any time because I came in this world with empty hand and I will leave this world empty hand and I will not take anything from this world and everything will stay in this world and whatever I have like even my my life my life is not uh, uh, under my control that control is uh, in the hands of Allah. So my breath breathing is counted. So when my last breath will come, I will die and I will leave all the things which I am collecting. Everything will stay here. I will go empty hand from this world. So if a person must understand this uh, belief that I will die soon and I will go to other world in the grave with empty hand, hopefully that person will not be stingy, will not be uh, miser, he will make Tawbah Astaghfar and spend the money to his requirements and the extra money, extra wealth that person will give away in charity Sadqa just to make his or her the life hereafter more better before Allah. This way very important for us. Even some people they think that we are collecting for our children because when we die who will look after our children? If they have something, so then they can live their life very good. But if they have nothing, they can't be a good person. How can they spend their life very good? So they will be in a trouble. So this is like these type of things, you know, are in the people mostly. Mostly this is in the mind that who will look after our child after my death. This way many people, they are collecting money for their children. They have done so much insurance and so many things. But Allah said that I am creator of every living thing and I am responsible for the risk of everything. And these persons who are collecting money and wealth and everything for their children. So they are trying to become responsible. The work of Allah, they are taking on their shoulder. Think now, what type of fool are these people? Because Allah said in Holy Quran, وَمَا مِن دَابَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا أَلَّا اللَّهِ رِزْقُهَا When Allah got the responsibility of risk of the children, 
then why these people are doing that responsibility, getting that one which is before Allah, Allah is responsible for that. And their responsibility is to worship Allah, to follow the Quran or Sunnah, to make life according to that, so that they should be successful in this world and world hereafter. So if Allah has written poverty for your children, even if you leave billions and the billions for your children, they will waste all that and they will get poverty also because that is written for them. Same like that, if you, have, you are not leaving a penny for your children, but Allah wants to make your children rich, so then your children will become rich, really, 100%, because Allah has written for them richness. Same like that, you understand that the people who left their children and leaving nothing for them and they got so much nice life. You can get the example of Umar bin Abdul Aziz His children, he never left anything for them, but his children after his death, they became governors of different states. So, mashallah, it is Allah's blessings. So Allah has written the risk of every person. We should not uh, uh, be responsible for that for whom Allah is responsible. So we must do what for what we have been created. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةِ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَابُدُونَ So we have been created just worship for Allah. Worship means we must do every act in our life according to the teachings of Allah through Quran and Sunnah under the limits of Sharia. If we are, if our every type of action, <coughs> every type of dealing and work and job and activity is under the limit of Sharia, Alhamdulillah, we will be the best person before Allah. And we will get the credit before Allah, inshallah, at the Day of Judgment. So this way, you must understand, sometimes, uh, uh, I think, sometimes, uh, a person uh, who is a stingy or miser person, when his love to the worldly things increases and those things become favorite for him or her, so that person don't like to spend because those things are so much favorite. If It look like if the person is spending something from his body is going out, like like the body is, he is, thinks that my I will die if I spend that because so much love with that thing the person has. And the person, as the age of the person increases, the greed for the worldly things also increases. And this type of thing Allah already explained in Surah Al-Takasur, Al-Hakum takasur Hatta Zurtum al -Makabir. When the person who is greedy of the worldly things, so as the age increases, the greed of the worldly things also increases until the person will go underground and his belly is filled with the earthen thing. So this is the end of his greed. Think now. So if you look at the person who is a stingy and miser person, that person is not good. 
because that person has so many evils in himself in herself how because the first of all this person tries to backbite others tries to find the faults of other and express them before the people and also this person tries to taunt the people so this the whole situation of that person with punishment is written in the whole surah suratul humza that is for it we can read this one auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wailul likulli humaza tillu humaza ho maza tillu maza while while is the is a is a valley of the fire and mostly when the translator they translate they say it is a destruction for those people who are backbiter who are dreadful people so who are slanderers so these people they are the worst people because the place of them is the hell while ulli kulli ho maza tillu maza so destruction is for those people the biggest trouble and punishment they will have to get at the day of judgment also so who those who are backbiters slanderers who find faults of others the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about them the worst servant of allah are those who speak ill of someone create enmity between friends and find faults of innocent people in the next part next ayat allah said about this person who is stingy miser person and who has so many evils in himself even the one evil i can say because when a generous person is spending money for allah this person says about him that he is show off he is pretending <laughs> and allah said about that person in next ayat allah said allazi so this is the person jama amalahu this person collects the wealth wa addada and counts it allazi jama amalahu wa addada this person collects the wealth and counts it in next ayat allah said yahsabu and this person think anna ma lahu akhlada anna that ma lahu his wealth akhlada will make him immortal so he think that this he will become immortal because his his wealth will stay with him and he will be immortal because of the wealth this wealth will stay for him with him forever yahsabu anna ma lahu akhlada allah said don't worry about this person next allah said about this person the punishment kalla la yum bazanna kalla no no la yum bazanna in fact he will be thrown fil hotama in the crusher in the fire that will be that will crush him hotama is the fire that will crush the person wama adra kamal hotama and you don't know what is hotama 
hotma that is the fire which will crush the person you don't know about that allah said narullahi that is the fire of allah narullahi almuqada muqada mean who has been kindled who has been burned by allah so this nor this this fire is burned by allah himself so this this fire is very hard for the person very very uh, dangerous fire and narullah uh, almuqada a fire that has been kindled by allah you know this is not a simple thing this is the dangerous fire which will crush the person into pieces allati tattalu ala al afida so this fire will mount up to the hearts of the person it mean it will its pain will reach to the hearts of the person and so much punishment will be to the person at the day of judgment so innaha alayhim musada this is other punishment you know this fire the person allah said innaha indeed alayhim for him for her or for them musada so this fire the person will be closed in the fire it mean the boundary will be made with the walls from every side and these this person will stay in the fire so this will be so much fire for the person fi amadim mumaddada so amadim mean in the column mumaddada mean extended so they will make the columns those will be extended maybe according to the height of the person or maybe more than that so the person will be closed up in that completely and fully and then fire will be burned out and that will crush the person and and person will be crushed into different pieces and so much troubles will be for the person even the this fire it will reach to the heart so it will reach to every part of the body so this will be the punishment for the person who is uh, who is uh, miser slanderer and uh, like uh, who find the faults of the other people also and uh, so much punishment is there so this is not a simple thing the best thing is that we must look after ourselves completely and fully that when we were born at the time of birth we were empty hand and at the time of death we will be empty hand so all the things which are coming in our control in our hand so those are the properties and wealth and things belongs to allah this way we are just owner only for the time being so allah wants to see are these people are these people uh, distributing the wealth and the worldly things which i have given them according to sharia according to quran and sunna but that is test and trial only so if we are just to do that so we will be successful in this world and the world year after so the best thing is that we must be a generous person generous person is who is generous person generous person is that one like who has something extra the extra thing the person gave away for allah extra thing mean for example if you have uh, like 500 and your requirement is 300 and 200 is extra so you will give away that just for allah so that is called you you will be called a generous person but one thing other is the peak of generosity that is called isar isar is the peak of generosity what is that 
for that one like you can see if you are needy person you require the things but you are giving away that thing for allah that is the peak of generosity like for example if you are eating food and you are just to start even the food was before you and you were near to start and you have seen someone hungry and you give away all that to that person you have no other money you have no no money no food nothing at all that was only the money you have you bought you bought the food you are all money finished you are everything finished you are just the food that is before you and you are giving away all that just for allah and you are becoming hungry just having patience and you give away just for allah to some other person this is the peak of generosity and allah said in holy quran اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويوسرون على انفسهم ولو كان بهم خصاصا the people who who give away those things for that they are needy so they have extreme need of those things but they are giving away for allah so this is the peak of generosity holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if a person who has something and that thing is need of the person and the person love that one so much that he is not to make separation of that thing from himself or herself but uh, if that person give away that thing just for allah so this is the peak of generosity and allah will forgive the sins of that person so this is the act that will make the sins of the person forgiven by allah subhanallah you can see holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his family so they have done it so much we have no example of this in the universe even fatima tu zahra radiyallahu ta'ala anha when she was fasting and food was prepared in the house and food was ready before them it was the time to break the fast but little bit of time was remaining and door was knocked i am hungry give me food so the whole food was given to that person and this is the situation think now if you are fasting you have the food which is available before you and that is on you are uh, that is before you and there is no any other food no any other resources you have but that food if it go away then you will be hungry so the other person who was hungry when he said i am hungry please give me food so fatima razi allah taala anha and she gave all the food to that person and with patience they have taken water so alhamdulillah so this is the example of the peak of generosity you can get more examples from the family and of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam aisha radhi allah taala anha she said in the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam house we have not eaten so much and mostly we were just doing 
this generosity the peak of generosity the isor one day a person came as a guest to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but in the house of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam there was nothing and this person was sent to a companion of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that companion were having only little bit food and what the person has done so at night time the the light was on so he made the light off and he started to make his movement of his mouth just pretending that he is eating so when the guest started eating he started this type of practice so the guest understood that he is eating but he was not eating so guest started eating so the host was no eating but he was pretending and the all food was eaten by the guest and this act of peak of generosity was so much liked by allah and this ayat came wa yusiruna ala anfusihim walau kana bihim qasasa so these are the people so much status of those people because of this generosity look at musa al islam he requested allah i want to know about holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam tell me about one thing of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but when musa alaihi salam he insisted again and again then allah showed to musa alaihi salam one thing that was relating to holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and musa alaihi salam he fainted and became unconscious when he came into senses he said oh allah please tell me what was the act of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam because of that you have given this status to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah said to musa alaihi salam this is isar isar mean peak of generosity and which was done by holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam not one time again and again again and again then allah said to musa alaihi salam a person who will do this type of generosity even one time in his or her life i will give the place in paradise to that person abdullah bin jafar radhi allah taala anhu he was visiting and uh, during the visiting he went to a to an orchard of dates and he found one black person who was a slave who was looking after the date tree there and uh, every day his food was three bread that was coming to him and when abdullah bin jafar radhi allah taala no he was he was sitting there at that day unexpected one dog came there and that slave he gave he found the dog hungry he gave to the dog one bread dog has eaten that one and feeling that and then the slave found that he is more hungry he need one more bread so he gave to the dog the other bread also 
but after eating other other bread the dog was not going away that was there and feeling that he need one more bread so the slave he gave him the third bread also when abdullah bin jafar radiyallahu ta'ala no he was looking that one he said your all food has been taken by the dog what will you eat now he said i will observe patience just for allah because this dog never came before this is the first time he came i found him so much hungry this way i gave him my food and no problem i am alhamdulillah thankful to allah so this dog has eaten i am become satisfied so this was the peak of generosity of that person who was slave so abdullah bin jafar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he paid the money for that slave and gave him freedom and then he paid the money to buy the orchard of the dates and then he gave away the whole date orchard to the slave he said this is your orchard you are dead trees and you are free alhamdulillah so this is the example of generosity you can see how the family of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how the relative of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how the companion of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they were so much generous person even you can get the example at the time of migration when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam entered in madina the people you know they were giving so much golden example of sacrifice and generosity so we should get some lesson that we should not be miser we should not collect money we should not collect the wealth or the worldly things because we are not to stay in this world forever our life is short one limited for the time being we don't know when we will die we came in this world with empty hand and we will leave this world with empty hand everything belongs to allah we have to spend everything according to the distribution system of allah that we found in quran and sunnah we have to follow that one then inshallah we will be favorite person of allah and if we are miser or stingy person we must do tauba astaghfar and spend money be generous person so that we should be good person before allah and get reward from allah in this world and the world hereafter allah give us tawfeeq ameen